Hey Defenders, welcome back. So in the last video, we deployed our open CTI platform. If you haven't checked out that video already, I will link to it in the description below. So make sure you check that out before advancing to this video. So in this video, we are actually going to now start to import data into our open CTI platform. And we're going to do that by deploying connect open CTI connectors. And these connectors are what will be responsible for actually importing data into our open CTI platform. So some goals, uh, so the goals for today's video is to of course add data to open CTI so we can actually start to ingest reports, observables, uh, threats, and so on. Deploy open CTI connectors that will import that data for us. The steps that we're going to follow in this video, we are going to select the connector of choice. So OpenCTI has a repository filled with these connectors that will be that you guys will see here in a sec. We're then going to configure the Docker compose file since our OpenCTI stack is is deployed via Docker. And then we're going to update our OpenCTI stack within a portainer that we spun up last video to include this new data connector. And all this will be a lot more obvious here in a sec. So here within my open CTI platform, you see I don't have any data, right? Our open CTI infrastructure is up and running, but it's not really of any use to us right now because we're not actually ingesting any data. And if we go into data and select connectors, we see that some of the default ones that open CTI comes pre-bundled with are already deployed. However, we need to start to add our own to actually start to ingest data. So let's go ahead and do that. So if we go ahead and open and Google open CTI connectors, this will link to their repository of their connectors. And I'll go ahead and link to this in the description below as well. So you guys can follow along and there's different kind of categories that they have for their collectors. So they have an external import, which is what we're going to explore in this video. There's some internal enrichment connectors. So like if we go into this, you can do like virus total enrichments, uh, abuse IPDB enrichment enrichment. So that'll be a topic for a later video. Uh, in this video, we're going to focus on our external imports. And here you can see our connectors. So we have Alien Vault, uh, Cape, CrowdStrike. So we have a mix of open source and also commercial platforms that we can use as our connectors. So you also see the Hive, uh, we have Mist, which we'll cover in the next video as well, uh, Threat Match, and all of these different connectors come with their own Docker Compose. And again, as I reflected on in the last video, I highly recommend deploying OpenCTI via Docker because it makes not only deploying OpenCTI a lot easier, but also deploying our connectors much more, um, much easier. So let's, for example, go into Alien Vault. So I'll select the Alien Vault, and then here you can see some uh, little readme about this specific connector, and then some of the configuration variables that we can set on our end, uh, and this will be responsible for different different settings. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump into the Docker Compose file, and here we see our Docker Compose file. And what's really easy about this is we can copy and paste this over into our portainer stack and deploy it and it's as easy as that so let's go ahead and do that so i'm going to and this will also ring true for any of the other connectors that you're looking to use so let's say we want to use crowdstrike i'll go into crowdstrike and select their docker compose file and just copy our block and paste it into um in my in my case i'm using portainer to to manage my docker environments but you could paste these to a, a local docker compose file that's running uh, on your host if you're not using portainer to manage your docker environment so let's go ahead and go into alien vault uh, and then i will select the raw I'm going to copy from connector uh, all the way down to the restart always. So I'm just going to copy that, put that in my buffer and go into my portainer uh, web UI here, select stacks. I'm gonna go into my open CTI stack and we are going to now edit the stack. So essentially what we're doing is we're telling Docker to bring in this new container that will serve as our alien vault data connector so i'm gonna select the editor i'm gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom here i'm going to press enter and then i'm going to paste this connector right here 
So here we now have our alien vault connector and I'm going to copy the depends on open CTI so that the open CTI container has to be up and running before this connector uh, one will be. So that'll be fine. And then there's a few changes we have to make. So you'll see our open CTI URL uh, in the Docker Compose example that they have, it's just pointing to the local host. So we actually need to change that to point to our open CTI container. And that'll be via this URL here. So you can copy one of your pre-existing ones that came with the default open CTI uh, install. And, and this will be this will apply for all connectors. So we'll paste that there. We're then going to set our open CTI token. And if you guys remember in the last video, that was actually that was actually an environment variable that we created, right? We called it open CTI admin underscore token, right? And that's what this guy is here. So we can do the same. So we can copy this environment variable and scroll down to our alien vault one and paste it right in there. And then we need a connector ID and that will actually be a valid UUID. So we can go to our generate random UUID website and let's generate a version four UUID. I'll go ahead and copy, go back into Portainer here and paste that here. Uh, and then all that's left that we'll have to do. So you see there's other environment variables you can set here in terms of like uh, the alien vault pulse. If we want to grab report status, uh, guest CVE. So th there's some settings here that the alien vault data connector allows us to set depending on what we want to bring in. So like the TLP is set to white. And then here, the only other change we'll need to make is actually inputting our API key. So I'll go ahead and go to the Alien Vault OTX and grab my API key. And then what I'm going to do, so now that I have my API key copy, what I'm gonna do is just erase that and then I will paste it here. And all right, now that that is pasted in there, I will now scroll down and select update stack. And so now Portainer is now deploying our data connector, which we will see here in a sec. All right, so now we have stack successfully deployed. And if we look at our container, we see the open CTI connector alien vault container is being spun up. And we can also go into containers here and we can look at some logs of this. So if we search for the just alien vault, uh, we see our container is running. Uh, so good, that's a good sign. And we see we can go into the logs to look at some logs as well. So if you're having any like API authentication issues or something, you should be able to see that there. And then if we go to our open CTI, you can see our alien vault connector has now been registered. And we probably don't have any data yet. Yeah, so this will now, so now this connector will run and our connector will now run at an interval at, of 1800 seconds. So this will happen automatically. So we don't have to manually uh, like activate these connectors to fetch data. Uh, OpenCTI will fetch the data uh, every 1800 seconds that we have set here. So you could of course adjust this on your own instance if if you wanted to, to make it uh, less frequent or more frequent or whatever is up, uh, whatever you choose. Uh, so I'll go ahead and wait a few minutes here and we should start to get some data being ingested via our alien vault connector. And all right, so now our alien vault is starting to bring in some data and you can see a little bit of status uh, on it here. So if there's any errors or anything like that, that'll be outputted here as well. And now if we go into our dashboard, we can see our dashboard now starting to be populated with data that we're pulling in from alien vault. So so our open CTI platform is now starting to be of use. <laughs> We're now starting to bring in data. If we go into analysis, uh, we can see some reports that are being built. We can then go into these reports and get a lot more information about the particular maybe APT groups that are using this type of malware, uh, domains, IPs associated with this malware. Uh, we can go into observations. We start to see our observables. So we see some URLs, some file hashes. Uh, we can go into Arsenal and see some stuff being populated, but we so we're now using our connector to bring in data. And really, the benefit of OpenCTI is we can now, with 
all these various other connectors, we can now start to ingest data from all these different sources into one common you know, window kind of pane of glass uh, type of approach. So all of our data is now on one platform. And I think that wraps it up for today's video. In the next video, I will show you guys how we can connect to our MISP instance using a similar technique. Uh, so we have a MISP connector that we can also deploy to our open CTI stack to start to ingest MI uh, MISP events as well. So stay tuned for that one. And I appreciate you guys hanging out with me and I will see you in the next one.